Good evening, good evening, good evening, and thank you for coming to the channel. Okay, magazine just smashed it out the park, or the park, I should say. Just hit the ball and did a home run out the park. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You know what it is. I don't have to keep repeating myself. Subscribe, subscribe, to subscribe, share, share, share. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share and like my videos, guys. That will help me out a lot, especially if you like and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But we got the breaking news story. Nene Leeds cannot seem to keep her hands off her Twitter button or her Instagram account. We're talking about celebrity reality star Nene Leeds. Now, I told y'all several times, Nene Leeds want to be white. She won't rest until she becomes white, okay? She's scared to try to bleach her skin because she knows she's going to get a lot of people come at her. But I'm telling you, she looks or she's trying to look like Kim Zosiak. Look at the hair content. I'm giving y'all comparisons. See what I'm saying? She really wants to be Kim, okay? I don't know if she just wants to just look like her or whatnot, but it is coming very apparent who she's trying to look like and who she's trying to be like. But Nene, I'm sorry. You was born in a black body. You're going to always be known as a black woman. Kim was born in a European body or Caucasian. She's always going to be known for that fact. She loves black women, though, in a sense of taking their style because she loves those big old beautiful lips. And she loves to have that silo cup in her hand, okay? <laughs> Some of the traits of the black race, okay? Not all. Some of the traits. Because I tote my silo cup around, too, when I got stuff in it, all right? So, I don't wear the fake blonde hair because I just, I'm not with it. And maybe Nene's stuck on that idea thing that blondes have more fun. I don't know. But I'm telling you, she's trying to turn into a Kim. I kind of like that hairstyle on Nene. It can go both ways as a sexy blonde or, you know, kind of toned down blonde and giving me a brunette type feel as well. But we're going to get on into this video because we don't want to be carrying too long on Nene Leaks because she's such a flip flop as we know. But I ain't got nothing against her. She's playing the game, okay? She playing ch um, chess while her other co-workers, constituents, are playing chess in her eyes. But, honey, I started to do a story on uh, Andy Cohen and, and who he felt was the uh, housewife he more so uh, feels he's similar to. But, honey, he picked one of the Vanderp Vanderpump people, I do believe, Um uh, but he didn't choose Nene. He just said she was, he didn't look at her fondly, I should say, for having intelligence. He just said she was very enthusiastic and playful or something like that. But it wasn't like she was keen on her business sense and, you know, she surrounded herself with business-minded people that do make trillions of dollars and whatnot. So it's like a, a, a real big diss. It's like, I can party with Nene and whatever, but that's all. She got great enthusiasm, but that ain't going to get her nowhere. <laughs> but that's another story for another day. But I'm just going to get into this story that OK Magazine put out. And they're pretty much saying Nene is writing or Twittering or Instagramming away her fingers and pointing fingers at one of her co-workers. And I guess we're supposed to guess uh, to see if we really know her or who she's talking about. Okay, and I'm like, Nene, you just cannot stay off social media, but you want social media to stay off you. Now, how is that a pot calling the kettle black? Why don't you? Okay, I don't understand, girl. Make it make sense because it don't. All right, but going on with OK Magazine's commentary and the journalist who actually wrote up the article, her name is, uh, or his name is Ryan, hell, it could be a, a boy or a girl, couldn't it? Ryan Shea, or Ryan Shea, okay? Her title of, or his title of the article reads, Pointing Fingers, Nene Leak Shares Cryptic Instagram Rant against enemies who play the victim. And I just, again, ain't that the pot calling the kettle black? How many times Nene don't put herself out there, done talk, done dog, done pre pretty much crucify her co-workers, her uh, constituents, her colleagues 
on filming. Okay, The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And then cry victim. Like nobody's on her side. Nobody's trying to understand her and her situations and this, that, and the third. I'm like, girl, Nene, go jump on front of a bus. Why don't you? Okay? Not literally, but just this, I'm sick of her, you know, saying somebody else is playing victim and they always want the storyline and they bore it and this, that, and the third. So everybody can pay attention to you and you whine and whine about. You supposed to be head bitch in charge. Head bitch in charge don't be worried about uh how they're feeling. They just only in tune with themselves, and they ain't trying to talk about them. They ain't trying to get them no shine. You know what I'm saying? But you are always trying to point fingers at who is gonna be your target to target for the whole season twelve. But we already know because I did a video on it. You got Greg, your husband, as your target. And your storyline. So you don't have to film with these women. I mean, come on. The hypocrisy, Nene. The hypocrisy. But it goes on to say, uh, Nene Leakes share scripted Instagram rant against enemies who play the victim. Be in the loop with all the latest news, questions and answers, and discussions about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So they're doing their little bargaining and begging, too, for you to come back for more news on the Real Housewives of Atlanta and specializing in doing commentary on Miss ne Mrs. Nene Leakes, okay? Then uh, it goes, uh, says, she's gotten it with many, she's gotten into it with many Real Housewives of Atlanta co-stars this past year. Honey, how about all 11 seasons, okay? She wants all the airtime, all the attention focused on her. That's what she plans on getting paid for, and she plans on giving drama about the situation, okay? As long as they keep paying her the kind of money that she likes. Because she going to never get the money that she feels she deserves. It just is what it is. They're not going to do that for her. And... True Entertainment knows how much she's worth or how much she's going to give them. And they pay out what she think is a fair settlement. They probably say, oh, she lowballed herself. We would have gave her this. But oh, wait, you know, I'm just saying, okay. Getting back to the article, it says, Nene Leakes went on a long encrypted Instagram rant on Sunday, August 4th. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star spoke about enemies who played a victim and how she's had to make amends with people who actually wronged her. Now, isn't that just like a narcissist? Okay, they the one going around here and starring stuff and, and pulling fingers and talking behind people back. And then when it, the, the kitchen get too hot for them, the stove done got uh, on overdrive and it's burning up up in there, she want to run from the flames. She can't stand the heat when it's coming to her. She want to bring the heat, but she can't stand the heat. Okay. Goes on to say, sitting on my flight this morning, reflecting and thinking about how I've had to make amends with people who actually wronged me and the way they has made me feel. This is 51-year-old Nene talking, okay? And it gives her uh, and her fashions for the day or whatever. If you go on Instagram account so you can see it. Or go to okmagazine.com, pull up the article um, that read um, Nene shares cryptic Instagram rant message. And you'll get all her latest fashions. And I'm pretty sure they're not her fashions. Which I never understood why a designer never wear their wares. They always wear other people's. Um, clothing. And with Nene having her own store, it's like she would try to get with the designer and design her own clothes. You know, give the designer kudos for doing it, but be able to put her name on jeans or white t-shirts that she loves to wear and those type of clothing uh, apparel. Put her own name on it. But see, Nene, you're not thinking, baby, okay? Because if you're that hot, if you're that shit, you know, people would buy clothes with their name on it if it was of any quality and the cost was right the price was right but okay you're still trying to you know do these surplus stores where everybody have them they just uh different apparels you buy from different ben uh, vendors okay but moving on it said uh when you're a big personality the fingers get pointed in your direction a lot as bad guys she continued all righty See, Nene already done said she's on top, the rest of them are on the bottom, and she ain't coming off her chariot to throw tomatoes in the street with the rest of the peasants. That's pretty much what she don't put them, y'all. See, when you put yourself high on a pedestal, 
be mindful. Be mindful of who you're stepping on as you go further up. Because when you're coming down, you're going to meet and greet those same people that you stepped on on your way down as they're traveling on the way up laughing at you, okay? So remember that, Nene. Remember that, okay? My pun intended not in this article, but it goes on to say, uh, she continued, it's just crazy to me how society judges from the outside in instead of the inside out. I'm just grateful to God that I was given great discernment. Nene, I don't know what God you discernment. You're getting your discernment from because the way you're acting out here and your behavior and your demeanor doesn't express love at all. Not love. Only hatred, envy, and jealousy. Okay. Then it goes on to say she's finished the cryptic post with Happy Sunday. Uh, your day is coming, P.S. Some people play victim well. So I'm like, nee, 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 nee. Now, of course, the swag boutique owner didn't specify who she was talking about, even though this could be aimed at one of her many Real Housewives of Atlanta co-stars. Okay? Because we know she, her last uh, person she got into it was Cynthia Bailey, you know, throwing her up, up, up under the rug and everything. So it's plausible to think that she's talking about her. Then again, she could be talking about Portia. And then again, she could be talking about Candy. But it doesn't matter because Nene don't talk about every last one of them, okay? And she could be throwing digs at Marlo Hampton. Because remember, Marlo Hampton was at Cynthia Bailey's wine celery opening, cellar opening as she also was engaged in watching um, Mike Hill propose to Cynthia. So is she throwing daggers at Marlo? I don't know, because, you know, Marlo couldn't be on the show for about a, a, a season because Nene wouldn't film with her, and there too much of any other people wanted to film with her either, but it was just is what it is. Whoever got camera time and gave, you know, felt sorry and gave her some camera time so she can get her chick cashed, you know. <laughs> you know, because she's a friend of the family. Uh, a friend of Real Housewives Atlanta. She doesn't really have a peach, but I'm pretty sure they're paying her enough money. And she said, that's good enough for me. I don't have to have a peach because I'm still making cocoon, change, you know, dollars, greenbacks, whatever. But, uh, yeah, that's all I had of this story, guys. It was very short and to the point. Trying to keep it that way. Trying to keep it under 20 minutes for y'all. Because I know I can get long-winded sometimes. And I appreciate y'all tuning in to my channel. So I'm going to try to do something for y'all. And just get to the chase. And not give so much of my opinion. Because you know I do have one. And it gets long-winded sometimes. But y'all tell me what y'all think. Get in the comments and see. Is Nene just doing all of this to, you know, boost up? This uh, new season that's coming in, and she's going to be the villain again, because that's what she plays. Or, you know, is she really got some justification on somebody really doing something to her? I don't know. Because like I said, season 12, she's already got her hit dog that's going to holler, and that's Greg Leaks. He's going to be her storyline for 99% of taping, I'm sure. Because uh, she's going to feel like she's not going to I can just see it now. Is she with the girls? They're in Toronto, Canada, I think, uh, going to some carnival um, parade and stuff. And I didn't really see Nene, Nene focusing in a lot of those pictures, but she got maybe in a few. But you could tell she was very standoffish and it was no life in her. So I'm thinking that she's going to be over there, you know, making her storyline about Greg and making it all about her like she loves to do. Because that's going to be very boring. And I hope somebody comes in like Kenya and be like, honey, spark up. Either get out of it or stay in it. It ain't that serious. You know, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody go through uh, divorces every day. Go through marriages every day. And it's just the strong will survive. You know, the ones that want to forgive everything and anything. It's okay. It's, it's their life. They live it. But, you know, that's all I have for this video. It's kind of short, kind of sweet. Uh, Y'all tune in for the next video. Because I'm sure it's going to be something crazy to talk about and have an opinion about. Blessings to you all. Good night.